just want us to answer two simple questions from uh, binary operations. So these are the two questions that we are going to answer. So question one, a binary operation, of course the symbol doesn't matter. Okay, so that is just denoting the binary operation. You may have symbols like that. Don't be confused. It has got the same meaning, okay? So our binary operation in this case says m that symbol is equal to m plus n plus 10. Now the question says determine whether or not the operation is commutative associative. So what does commutative mean? Commutative means it doesn't matter the order. So since we have m star n, what if I start with n? Are we going to get the same result? So what that means is whether we had m and n, it's like they're exchanging. So I have is m and put n, m plus 10. So the question that you have to ask yourself is, are they the same? Are they equal? So I'm seeing that they are equal because I know m plus n and n plus m are the same and then plus 10. So these two are the same. So the fact that this is true is proof enough that the binary operation is commutative, as simple as that is. So we can quickly go to the associative part. Associative now deals with uh, three things. Okay? So M, N, we will introduce, let's say, all right? So is it true that if you have M star N in brackets, and then you can say star O, is it equal to a case where you decide to start with M star, and then you say N star O? Are they the same? So I'll start with the left hand side. So we have M star N, which we already have. So I'll just go direct and then perform an operation with O. So the binary, the binary operations work is I'll use the actual equation there. Now, binary operation means it's an operation on two things. So what is in the brackets and our O? So now what is in the brackets? Is giving us that result. So where there is m in the original equation, I'm going to put that. So I'll say where there is m, I'll put m plus n plus 10. And then, so that is where there is m. Now where there is uh, n, I'll put o. So plus o plus 10. So by the way, that is not a zero. Oh, I wish I used a different letter. So we're going to have m plus n. Collecting like terms, we'll have o plus 20. So that's for that. We can go to the other part, which is the right hand side, where we have m star. In brackets, we have n star o. So in this case, if you go back to our original equation, where we have m, it is matching up with m. So we'll just put m. As it is. Now, where is n? We are going to put n star o. Now, n star o, if you use that very equation, you are going to have uh, n plus o plus 10. So, n plus o plus 10. And then plus, we go back to the equation. So, we do have a 10 there. So, if we get to add, what exactly are we expecting as our result? So 10 plus 10 give us a 20. So the question is, are they the same? So I can see they are the same, m plus n, o plus 20, and then that one. So that is also proof that the binary operation is associative. We are on the second question. A binary operation is defined by that. So of course x should not be equal to zero, y equal should not be equal to zero because they will make it to be undefined. So the binary operation itself is that. So feel free to pause the video and try this one out. <coughs> so what do we have to say there? So determine whether or not the operation is commutative. 
so I can quickly go for x so now start with uh, y so what if I say y star x am I going to get the same result so on top it will be y plus x on the denominator it will be y x so the question that you have to ask yourself is are these the same so I understand that x plus y and y plus x are the same x y and y x are also the same so we can conclude that the binary operation is actually what is actually commutative and finally the last question is us proving whether this is associative or not is it associative or not so of course we would have to you introduce an extra letter called z so for x star y star z so if you get to substitute in that equation in the brackets what is in the brackets is denoting our x which is equal to this and then z is denoting our y so where there is x I'm going to put x plus y over x y so where there is uh, x we'll put what is x star y which is equal to x plus y over x y and then plus our y so our y in this case is our z divided by again our x is still being represented by what is in the brackets x star y which is uh, equal to x plus y over x y plus what so this is now not plus on the denominator we are saying multiplication so multiplying with our y which in this case is our z so that is for the first part just take note of that we don't have enough space so x plus y if you want you can simplify and basically see what you're going to have so what if I try the opposite now if I try the opposite so since I don't have enough space I can try on top yeah? so x star now we'll start with y star z so I know now where there is x I'll maintain now where there is z I'll put y star z which is going to be obviously y plus z over y z divided by for the denominator it's going to be x will be maintained as well but for y it will be y plus z over y z so the question is are these, are these the same they are not the same so this is actually not associative and that's the end